I don't know about you guys, but growing up, sometimes I feel like I would love to be able to be in someone else's head. We spent countless of hours of our days getting ready in the mornings, shopping for new gear just to impress our friends, and watching these kind of vids all to make sure we feel good about ourselves and others find us attractive. And by others, I, I really mean that pretty girl you like. Yet all that effort goes to waste because when you put it into action, you have no idea what others are thinking. They could either like what they see. Wow, he's attractive. Or she could think you're the ugliest thing she's ever seen and she'll never give you a chance. Why is he even talking to me? His smile's so stupid. Really? My smile's not even that bad. Look, yours isn't either. And here's the thing, guys. I don't ever want you to be stuck in limbo wondering if your crush or others find you attractive. So today, I'm going to hook you up. I'm going to show you exactly what you need to be looking out for to know if others think you're hot. Let's they go. stand 1.6 feet away from you. How often do you actually try to get closer to somebody that you dislike? Almost never. According to the average personal space stats from the United States sample, <laughs> yes, that's a thing, you require 3.1 feet of personal space if it's a stranger. Hey, how are you? Do I know you? 2.3 feet if it's an acquaintance. Hey, what's up, bro? How's it going? My dude. Oh, there you go. And 1.6 feet if it's more intimate. You see what's going on here? This is exactly what you want to see. When you're looking good, you're looking on point, you're producing good vibes in a conversation, what you're going to notice is the space between her and you getting tighter and tighter. What that means for you is that you must be a handsome stud. You earn more. Have you noticed that you make more money than your friends or peers? Even if it's the same position? <laughs> well, that could actually be a good thing because it means that it's probably because you're extra good looking. <laughs> and I'm not just pulling this out of my butt. I didn't just make this up. There's actually an economist, a famous economist that's known as the father of Polkronomics. The dude pretty much studies beauty and economics and how beauty affects you in the real world. His name is Daniel Hammermesh. He wrote a book on how handsome men on average earn about 10% more than their friends. He is also the editor-in-chief of the Institute of Future of Labor. He graduated with his PhD from Yale, and he has lectured at over 230 universities. So, Professor Hammermesh, you're, you're often referred to as the father of Polkronomics, pretty much the economics of beauty. Um, and although that's a broad topic in and of itself, I think the main question at hand here is, why is it that attractive people earn more than their uglier friends, even with the same skill set? That's a very interesting question. I mean, deep down, I think it stems from the fact left over from the days of us walking around the jungle, that we think beautiful people are just better for reproductive purposes, and that carries over to our view of them in everyday life. And okay. so companies think that by hiring beautiful people, they'll be able to sell more, their other workers will like working with the beautiful people, and even the manager would rather have a beautiful co-worker than an ugly co-worker. They feel better about it for reasons left over from the ancient past. That's so true. A lot of people never actually think think of that. So would you argue that because of this, because of this reality, our, our innate nature, is it smart for an individual to then invest in trying to become more attractive in order to earn more through life and, you know, succeed more? No, it is not actually. I mean, of course, we should try to do our very best, but the evidence is absolutely clear that trying to make yourself more beautiful by getting a better haircut, or in my case, even getting hair would be a good thing, uh, which I have very little of, as you can <laughs> see. Uh, it just doesn't make very much difference. Is that now a number of studies showing that while taking better care, dressing better, even plastic surgery might make us look younger. There's very little we can do to really basically affect others' view of our looks. So for that reason, I don't think that's a great investment. It certainly doesn't pay off economically. Okay. Uh, doesn't mean we shouldn't do it. Doesn't mean we don't do it to make ourselves happier. We do. But in terms of having an economic effect, allowing us to earn more, get more promotions, no, the impact is very, very small. If you're bothered about being bad looking, which I used to be, I'm not anymore, you should invest in the things you're good at, whatever Correct. that may be, and take advantage of those. Strength but strength unfortunately, there's very, very little you can do to make yourself sufficiently better looking to justify anything you might do to do that. Okay. That I think that that's going to shed a lot of light for a lot of people on how much that actually is going to benefit them in the long term when it comes to earning more. 
Indeed, nice. and they'll be very depressed about it too. <laughs> That's so sad and meek. All right, Professor Hammermesh, catch you next time. Well, that was interesting. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. My view on life isn't as meek, and I think you would know that. I'm an optimist, and I tell you all the time, there's things that you and I can both do to look more attractive. That's what I believe in. I think other people see that as well. If you look at celebrities like your Kylie Jenner or your Cristiano Ronaldo, the before and afters after the plastic surgery, the cosmetics, and all they do to look better is drastic, and now they're seen as some of the most attractive people in the world, and they reap all the benefits. This is why I tell you all the time that putting in effort is actually valuable, and the great thing is that we don't actually have to do plastic surgery to restructure our face. You could do something as simple as putting a pair of frames on your face that's symmetrical, that balances your face shape, and makes it look more attractive. Doing something like this, helps you out. If you look at celebrities, they do this trick all the time. You'll see them all the time wearing glasses and the before and afters of with and without glasses, it's drastic. Now, here's the caveat. You can't be wearing sunglasses every day 24 seven. Obviously, you're gonna look like a tool, but you can wear these. These are Jade Black's new digital blue light blocking lenses, part of their Prism collection, which drops this Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern. Boys, these glasses you can wear every single day. Not only do they make you look more intelligent, more intellectual, more attractive, but they also protect your eyes. Your phones and your tablets and your computers emit a blue light that is damaging to the eyes, causes headaches, but more importantly, messes with your internal body clock and confuses the mind and makes it think that it's still daylight outside. Because of that, you can't sleep at night and then the next day you wake up tired, groggy, and less attractive. With these, you can scroll all you want all day and protect your eyes from all that damage. Let me show you how this works. So this is a digital blue light testing card. This is a concentrated blue light laser. This is what your phones, your tablets, your computers emit. Notice the damage that it causes to your eyes. Now notice what happens when we use Jade Black blocking technology. You see what I'm talking about, boys? These frames solve all your issues. So if you guys want to check them out, like I said, they're dropping this Saturday. And then on top of that, just to give you guys a thank you in return for everybody that shops this Saturday, we're going to be giving away three iPhone 11s. If you guys buy it this Saturday, you're entered into a chance to win a brand new iPhone 11. So now you can pick up your new digitally blue light blocking lenses, throw them on, scroll away, watch videos, and not have to worry about your ugliness parted lips. This is another sign our body does subconsciously, parting our lips almost as if we would wish we could taste the other person. You see boys, you do this all the time, especially men. When you see something you like, you open your mouth and you're drooling. Women are exactly the same. If you see a pretty girl and you lock eyes with her and she does the same thing, you can only imagine what's going through her head. And it's positive. Heads up. Yes, even head positions can determine if someone likes you. When you walk into a room, people's heads tilt up to look at you. This is a subtle sign they find you attractive, especially if they hold that position. You see? That causes an unnatural strain on your neck, it's uncomfortable. But if somebody's forcing themselves to be in that position to catch a view, that could be a massive positive on your end. You're willing to try new things. People that are hot or attractive are people that are well-rounded. I've said this time and time again. They look like they're always just having a good time, which means you're someone people want to hang around with. Just the fact that you're always down for whatever, trying new experiences and always following the thrill and the excitement gives you an attractive quality that most don't have. As you know, symmetry is the key to attractiveness. Meaning, if you could test to see if your face is symmetrical, you'll know if you're more attractive than you think you are. So an easy way to test the symmetry of your face is the next time that you see that stud staring back at you as you brush your teeth, if he is as handsome as the dude on your license or on your passport, you could be onto something good. Raising of eyebrows. This is something that almost all of us do when we see something that interests us or are attracted to. We do it subconsciously and unless you know about it, it's almost impossible to stop it. Our body does this without us thinking as a way to make our eyes wider and allow more light in to be able to see more clearly what we want to see. So if you see their eyebrows rise and fall like ours do, 
they think you're attractive. The truth is, guys, all of you are beautiful and you're just in your heads about how attractive you think you are and how others perceive you. And let's be honest, since your crush will never be upfront with you about what they really feel, you can use these tactics to know what they're really thinking. That's it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this short style of video with a lot of editing, again, go ahead and comment down below. It lets us know you love it. Drop us a like and answer the poll if you like this style of video and you wanna see more of it. That way we know we can keep pumping more of this style. On top of that, don't forget this Saturday, RJ Blacks are dropping. You do not wanna miss it. We don't have a lot of inventory, so you're gonna to wanna to be there quick and early in the morning. But that's it for me in this week's video. See you next time.